Hello everyone, back to Project Cars 2 career mode. This time, <clears throat> this time finally tier 4 uh, of open wheel path. So, oh, that's a wrong one. Let's continue the career. Uh, let's select the motorsport. Oh, I need to go through those quickly. I don't like to have them on the list. Here we go. Select motorsport and it's tier, tier 4. Renault Formula Renault 3.5. Why it's showing me something completely different? Sometimes this game. Here we go again. A better this time. That's Formula Renault. I watched it a uh, short presentation of the new series pretty cool looks good seven races uh, i'll be going for the longer puff uh, short puff has four races a longer full season of seven races starting in the end of march going for april two races two in may and two in june autodromo international do algarve portugal it is uh, so even though it's end of March, it shouldn't be too cold in Algarve, hopefully. I uh, I really hope that uh, I won't have the same issues with uh, warming tires, warming up tires as I had with the Formula C. Uh, that, that series was horrible when it comes to tires, temperatures. So let's continue. I think I have to sign a contract. I have to choose the car first or the livery. Oh, I like this one, uh, red or red number nine. Yeah, sign the contract, confirm, and here we go. We're in a new season. So, two new emails from the usual <clears throat> two emails you receive whenever you sign a new contract and start a new season. Nothing new there. Uh, Algarve first, 23rd was the start of the weekend, 24th is the race, I believe, right? Or that's how it should be, I guess. Uh, is there anything I want to change? No. Uh, yes, I want to change here. So we want practice, we want qualifying, and we want race. That will be 20 laps. And before we start, let me start my dashboard so I can see all the important data related to the race and the car. Uh, there's a new version to download. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe. So let's have a look at the career settings. Uh, difficulty skill level. Uh, we'll be going a bit higher for Formula Renault. 110. Uh, I keep the aggressiveness because higher aggressiveness quite often means crushing into the plier car, which is something I want to avoid. Let me just see if I can reload this camera a bit. It's too much. Yeah, okay. Um, that looks okay. And so, okay, so we've got 11070 that we can save. So I think we can start now. Let's move to the practice. Really amazing racetrack. I really like it, really like to drive on it. Okay, my, start, my dashboard just was updated. It's starting and here we are, Project Course 2. Tuning setup. Uh, haven't done many changes there. Just enough. 27 degree race truck, temp um, truck temperature, 15 degrees ambient temperature. It's hazy. That's 
the forecast. So it's hazy, so the temperature will hopefully be rising even though it's March. Okay, let's jump on the truck and let's do a few laps. Looks like a busy pit stop, so I have to wait. Yeah. Okay, and here we go. Here we go. Pit limiter engaged. Oh, I think I have a uh, set of Corsa set, so here we go. Corsa cars two set. Okay, that really feels like a four-wheeler car. That engine noise. Makes it feel like I'm driving something really, really fast. It is really easy to lock uh, lock the wheels in that car. <coughs> but what's really bringing on smile to my face is tire temperatures they're looking really good even even though the truck temperature is not that high I'm not having any issues warming them up which is really good that will be my first uh, flying lap so we'll see what kind of time I can achieve let's see what I can display here it looks like a proper, proper uh, multi display as well. I can finally switch for different functions. That was one minute thirty four point four. I can break a bit later there, so it was, uh, it was too early. The more temperature the tires have, the easier it is to drive the car. Grip is there.
the only problem I have that car is that uh, brake compressions at the moment. Oh, they're rising really quickly, but they're also pulling down really, really quickly. Especially the front one. The rear one seems to be keeping the temperature a bit better. Okay, my previous time, 1 minute 32.7, and I'm first at the moment. I may need to adjust the difficulty a bit. Maybe 100, 11, 100, 12, 110. Oh, 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 that was a big lock. I have to say that the first impression of driving a Formula Renault car in comparison to Formula C, this is really cool open wheel to drive. And I'm even using six gear. I just need to be very careful with the brake model. It's really easy to lock. The wheels. Uh, I may think about increasing the stiffness of the load cell, just to make it a bit harder. grip that car and it really feels and I think it shows I should have a really good time this time one minute 31 31.4 Faster again. I 
guy in front of me has uh, the second time at the moment in the practice session. So it will be nice to see how I compare to him on the truck. Messed up here, went too wide. The tire stems are really good, but those tires are going really quickly. Front is already 11% gone. Front left is 11 percent gone, the rears are 5 percent gone, 32.3. Okay, I'm going to pit. I'm 1.6 seconds quicker my best lap in comparison to the second one. That is too big of a difference. I need to increase the difficulty, but what we're we going to do here, I'm just thinking if I need to adjust anything, but it all looks good. Um, Maybe cooling of the rear brakes a little bit. Mm, just have a look, it's 88 at the moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe reduce the front a little bit, increase the rear. It's quite. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Strangely enough. I want to cool them a bit quicker, they were really slow to, to cool down. Um, okay, I haven't changed the area road, seems to work fine for me. Uh, I'm That car consumes 3.3 .3 liters of fuel. 3.3, .3, 20 laps, 60, oh, what am I doing, 66. Yeah, that is uh, that is even more than I need. I'll put 70, 66 should be uh, 69. That would be 20 plus one love, just in case. Let's prepare um, qualification one. So it's 3.3, 6.6, 12.13.2. That gives me four laps. Uh, it's one odd lap, two. Yeah, two laps to do a time and then in lap. Um, that will be qualification. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> they're not improving, I'm going to skip to end, move to qualifying, and then exit to increase the difficulty. Um, Okay, so let's increase it to 113. Saved, 113. Yes, I was saved. So qualifying at a bit higher difficulty than what I had during practice. Uh, the time difference was significant enough to justify the increase in difficulty. Okay, and here we are. Qualification start. Actually, no. 
Let's make sure it's loaded, because sometimes it doesn't work in that game. Bit limiter engaged. Be careful in the slow corners. The car won't handle properly until it's up to temperature. Let's warm up. Tires. And this is the first flying lap. Tires are uh, slowly catching temps, but they're still not there. Thirty one point two, good lap time. That place me in full position at the moment. If I can improve it. Small lock on the front left wheel. Slow, too slow in the first two sectors.
and the group in the third one, 1 minute 31.1. second at the moment, so someone did better lap. Oh, Adam Foster in sector one. And in sector two. I did, and it's full position. I don't think about fuel. One minute thirty seconds point five to the dot. And it just by 0 2 seconds quicker in the second one at the moment. I actually won't be skipping that. I want to let them run. Uh, so I, s I want to see if they can further improve their times. But that difficulty seems to be perfect. 1 1 3. I was quicker in the first sector, and that significantly. Uh, we had very similar time in the second sector, but I was significantly slower in the last sector. The last two corners, actually the last corner, that's where they're gaining a lot usually in every series I used to drive. On this racetrack with AI, they much faster in those fast corners and the last one especially. I don't know how they're doing that, they just, they're just not losing any time there. Uh, and the speed, they're actually gaining a lot. And pretty much every single AI driver is faster than me. 12 is a bit slower. But the first one is really, really quick there. Almost 0.4 seconds. So luckily I gained quite a lot on him on the first sector, 0.6. That's where the difference came at the end. Yeah, I think. Uh, what I want to check is do we have a mandatory pit stop? Ok, we cannot refuel during the race. There is no mandatory pit stop. Um, and the refueling is prohibited. Let's load our race setup. Let's check the fuel for the race. 69 liters for 20 laps. That should give us actually 21 laps. Uh, 21 laps. Okay, I'll be skipping. It's no point keeping any longer. They haven't improved, they won't improve. 
And I think they still have a chance to improve in the escape. And continue to race. Continue to race. 20 laps at Algarve. Good temps, 20, de 20 degree ambient, 33 degrees uh, Celsius truck, so it's warm and nice. Uh, light cloud is the forecast, so the temperature may actually drop a little bit during the race. I'm going to reload the setup just just, uh, just in case. S stands for slicks in this case. Uh, we won't, I don't have to worry about bad weather, so no rain. The car is, car is fueled for the whole race, so it's only the only thing I can do is just start the race and, and race them. Hold the position, moment, but just, just barely. Right Such a shame. It was good race to them. Right Not a good start. Good, you're clear. Unlucky, mate. You were taken off the line, but stay focused and let's get that place back. Whoa, that was close. On your right side. Watch your right. He's cleared you. On your right. Half length behind. One leg behind. Half leg back, watch your line. Two legs back. The left front tire temperature is rising significantly. More than 100 degrees left front, the rest stays around 80, which is good. But that Formula Renault is so much cooler to drive than Formula C.
around 111 in red. It's overheating, which is expected on this racetrack. I cannot shake him off, it's uh, 0 0.6 seconds. Good mate, very consistent driving. Let's try and build the gap. Keep pushing. I'm usually gaining some advantage in the first sector. Keeping it in the second, but losing it all in the third. Well, that was quite a slide. Down, how much how much more I should slow down. I didn't gain any time there as well, I actually lost time. One leg back. Left rear corner. On your left. On your left rear corner. Clear. Half leg back. One leg behind. Two legs behind. One, two legs back. The front tire is ten percent gone after five laps out of twenty. Front left tire, to be more precise. And I have a one second penalty. So I think it's a BS.
There were some good laps the last two. Safe driving, that's your fastest final second time so far. I went a bit too deep into that corner, but overall it was okay. Keeping the gap of around two seconds now, which is really good because I have one second penalty. So I need to maintain that gap if I want to win that race. Another good lap. That lap won't be as good as the previous three. But still within 31, so not too bad. I went too deep again in, in the right hander. What uh, gains my attention is the tire usage. It's half race through, 10 laps, 10 laps to go, and the front left is already 20% down.
The other tires are in a better condition. 10 percent down. Rear right. It's uh, it's still just eight percent down. So that's the best of all four. That was a bad lap. One second is quite a lot. I wasn't focused enough on the last lap, that's why uh, the time is a bit off. Let's see if I can improve it on this one. Not bad. That's going to like it looks like it's going to be a good lap. Yeah, another one minute thirty one. That should be another quite a good lap within 1 minute 31 range.
still keeping a good advantage over a second. Uh, the straight line is around 5 seconds. Uh, I have a 1 second penalty. So I needed advantage to win the race. I didn't expect to pull that advantage actually. Based on the qualification times and uh, after the in increase of the difficulty to 113, I thought it would be a bit more close plateau, close quarters, and I actually managed to build some distance between myself and the second. Of course the dynamic changes on the track when I'm braking and they're still accelerating and going fast and so and so on, but the most important part is the straight finish, uh, start finish straight. That's where I need at least a second advantage. Because once the penalty gets applied, a one second penalty in every race, that's where I can lose everything. In terms of the race victory, of course, that's what I mean. Also, that's the end of lap 15. So it's a free third. 3 fourth of a race, 3 fourth of the race, and my front tires is 26 percent gone from left. So the tire usage in that service is really high. Now this race track is known from uh, killing the left front just because this uh, last two corners, actually the last one, is such a fast left uh, right hander. The left tire is doing there a lot of work, majority of work. It's uh, overheating and it's uh, wearing really quickly. The truck temperature is quite nice, even though it's March 25th, I think, for the race. Is the 25th? 4th or 25th of March. Uh, it's still 33 degrees on the racetrack. But the weather forecast was hazy, so that probably helps a lot. As soon as I start talking, my lap times drop, the focus uh, goes away, concentration drops, and I make the small micro mistakes, but they influence the overall lap time. That braking to that left hairpin That braking uh, is downhill and it's really easy to lock the wheels on it so one has to be really careful with the brake pedal That's another uh, corner where it's really easy to lock the wheels because it's braking while turning Those uphill corners are the best. Uh, the overall balance of the car is at the rear while going uphill, so the shift to the front during braking is not as huge as when going downhill. And it's easy to maintain the lock free braking. Three laps to go.
the tires were is now quite big all over. Fresh tire, fresh tires would really help, but obviously there's no point doing that. Just three laps to go. I just to deliver that position. <laughs> exactly one second. Yeah, with that tire, okay, a tire where I'm not able to maintain this uh, 1 minute 31 laps. Yeah, that can happen unfortunately. Uh, it happened to me during the online race recently at the evening, which was really annoying. Connection just dropped. I was... The internet was off for like maybe 2 minutes. So it wasn't long, but it was enough to destroy my evening because my uh, online race went south because of that. Two more laps to go. I was just saying that uh, that series, that Renault, Formula Renault, it destroys the tires. In comparison to anything else I was driving so far, those tires are going really fast. So this is a 20 lap, 20 laps race, so there's just one more lap to go after this one, which I'm almost done with. And my left front is 31% gone. And that's the final lap. Final lap, let's bring it home. I have enough of advantage over the second to not to worry about that one second penalty I was given earlier. Actually, quite a good lap for that tire wear. I'm surprised I'm going so fast. Here we go, that's, that's a win, a first win in the new Formula Renault season. I was first raced out of uh, seven. I just need to deliver that car to my garage now. 
I'm curious how my teammate did. Speed limiter, just a few more tens of meters and uh, I'll beat my garage. The dashboard shows me 3.9 seconds advantage. I'm not sure if I can see it here, I don't think I can. Is it the fastest lap? 1 minute 31.24. It is, I think, the fastest lap. And my teammate was 7, so not too bad. Uh, I'm curious how many cars there are actually. Oh, I have no way of telling. Or maybe I do. 16, 16 cars. Yeah, I wish the whole grid was a bit bigger, like 22 maybe, but I guess that's pretty normal for a formula now. Uh, cool, so that's what, 26 points I think, uh, 25, ah, they're not giving bonus points for faster slap, okay, I think, I thought they do, but they don't, and 31 points as a team, good, so it was 6 points from my teammate, uh, lovely, that would be the same as the previous one, because it was the first race, well, <coughs> let's see what's the second race, Nürburgring GP, cool track, cool track, uh, but I won't be doing it right now. I need to go to the free practice, I need to set the difficulty properly, excuse me, and then I can think about racing it while streaming. So I would like to thank you all for watching. That was the first race of the Formula Renault 3.5 Championship, and there will be more. Uh, which hopefully you'll be here to watch with me. So have a good day and see you next time.